Hello everyone, in this video we will try to learn how to upgrade Blender software. So this will be going to a detailed video. So we will try to cover majority of the aspect in this video. I created another video which is just uh, installation uh, upgrading the Blender software. That is a quick video but in this video we will try to focus on different different aspects such as backupping existing projects and then copying uh, your projects or maybe copying the files, backupping the settings, add-ons, related stuff and then downloading the software new version and upgrading and then just restart storing your projects or settings so all these we'll try to cover uh, we'll see to add on to uh, one more thing right we can learn how to back up the configuration files as well so let's just begin so currently right i'm using blender 3.4 version so if you see right let me just open here so this is 3.4.1 and then if you see right i have some recent files and then which are working right these are currently here to find out right currently where these files are located right so what we'll do i'll just go one by one step so first is backupping the existing files these are the nodes which are prepared and then i'll just put it in the description as well so first step is like backupping the existing projects to find out right where the existing projects are located right so what you can do is you go to edit preferences and then just i'll just maximize this file and path you see right in this location so majority of the stuff right you can just look into it and then render output output location is this one so if i open right currently my saved file is here only so this is one my location you can find out easily this one so let me just copy this and then i've pasted already here this is the location where I have saved files actually right by default uh, output location is different but it is somehow it doesn't show here but if I go here right and then my output location is by default I've not saved it that's what it is not showing here this is one thing and then if you have temporary files right it just goes here as well temporary files are also here only located and this is one thing uh, like uh, saved files to find out right backupping your existing project so what you can do is that let me just go to that location so the location is here so what I will do and then paste it. these are all blender saved projects so what i can do is that i can copy this if you want it to take i'll, I'll create a folder here blender 3.4 what i'll do i'll just copy and paste everything here so this is i'm just not deleting this just wanted to show you because if uh, whether that blender new software installation does it delete these all or not so that's what just I've, I've created a folder and then copied all the saved files here the first step is over so these are the blend files and you can copy to maybe wherever your location if you have space right you can just copy or maybe in a dropbox or google Drive, you can do it backup blender settings and add-ons so suppose you have any add-ons installed right so these are the locations actually for windows right currently i'm using windows so i have this location for mac where this is the location and for Linux these are the locations so you can just go there let me just copy this so if you go to this location right and then uh, this is, you can have to go to see users and your username and then app data roaming and then this location so versions so if you have different versions right currently i'm using 3.4 right so that's what it is 3.4 it is showing this is the folder configuration all the configuration are located here created a startup file right with video editing so i want to have that video editing as a, my default startup right so that's what it created this configuration here so what i will do is right i'll copy this entire stuff and then i'll go to the location where i have saved 3.4 and then i'll just copy it here only in document so that I, I keep everything in one place for 3.4 so this is done so if you have any add-ons right currently i'm not using any add-ons so if you have any add-ons right so what will happen right in this scenario if you have any add-ons so there will be another folder created like scripts or add-ons so you will see your add-ons there so you can copy the entire config file here so that you will come add-ons also backed up and then your configurations also backed up so next step right let me just go here this we have completed this and then i'll let download and install new blender version so so let's just go blender download then go to blender official site so currently right 4.1.1 is the latest software so let's just download it so downloading started so let's just pause and then we'll come back once it is completed so i've cancelled the download because i've already downloaded it in past uh, this is the software so let's just install with the same version right it is 4.1.1 so let's just install this version what i'll do is that i'll close this everything i'm, I'm not uninstalling any older versions so i'm just closing this just installing so if you see right 3.4 version already exists here let it keep there so if you have storage right i suggest keeping the older version as well let me just install 4.1.1 putting the license agreement here and then just click on next next and then install So 
so the installation of 4.1.1 version is completed so let's just click on finish so if i minimize this right and then if i go here you see right 4.1 version got installed so in the next step right as per as our document right i just open it so what you can do is right click on 4.1 version i've closed the older version so i'm just opening it for the first time once you open up right so it will ask you import existing settings so whatever settings you have right for 3.4.1 version by default right if you don't uninstall that one right it will ask you just click on this load settings then what happens that it just loads automatically all the settings of 3.4.1 version so now right let me just close this and then again open up 4.1 version so if you see right all the stuffs whatever is working right with 3.4 version so all this came here thing is right we do we usually don't need to cut or move that stuff from this particular location for so my default location was documents right so let me just go there what i mean to say is right so my default location of the saved file is here so if i go there right usually you don't just cut and paste what you do you just copy it for the safer side just if you cut and do it right it when you just try to import the settings right from 3.4 so you will not be able to get the details because the default location is set to documents but here you will not find those files so i suggest just copy the stuff as a backup and then just uh, leave these files here so that it loads everything here so that is one thing so all settings have been came so there are some other things we need to take care project settings it's taken care and a backup configuration so if you have any configuration related stuff right then what you have to do as we have already backed up right so let me just go to the backup folder so this is my configuration file what i will do these all are the my configuration files for 3.4 so you can just go through it so if you feel right these are required like these are bookmarks and these are recent files i think those are not necessary if you need right you can just i knew it it got imported when i click on that import the settings from 3.4 right so the next step is right uh, to restore any configuration files if you have if you have like uh, locate your configuration file and then copy the settings like if you have any add-ons right you can do it we remember right this is the location where we got the configuration so i'll just copy paste that location and then this is the 3.4 and this is the 4.1 so if i click on 4.1 right there is configuration folder which is similar to that one because when i click on import from 3.4 right if you see everything video editing everything came up i usually don't need to do anything but if you feel right any add-ons related stuff you want right if it is missing so what you can do you can go to 3.4 and then just copy paste the stuff so but i don't feel because it i imported everything right it came back everything is same so if you need additional stuff right you can just copy from your older backup and then just paste it here in 4.1 one version you have to paste it in this particular configuration file by doing that right you'll be taking care of all this stuff like locating the new configuration and then all those old versions like everything copying the configuration related stuff and uh, verifying add-ons like add-ons also you'll be taking care of that stuff so you don't need to again manually reinstall them so that is one thing so now right open up your blender project so let's just see 4.1 right i'm using 4.1 and then by default right these are the recent files which came back so let me just open any of the file and just show you whether it is working or not so if you see right it is working so these are the previous projects which are working in 3.4 version so but now in 4.1 also i'm able to view them so let me just open any of the file open recent and then if you see shortcuts everything is there here this is one good thing so all the projects right it is intact here so the next thing what will run it sometimes that right, what we'll see is some new features or some add-ons are there you have to understand like you can just go learn more about that and you usually check blender release notes to understand if any major effects or uh, any what are the major changes are taken place so if you have enough storage right what i believe like you keep your older versions also maybe one or two months so that when you are comfortable with everything um, sometimes right you you are not sure what you are missing in the new version maybe something which might be still needed right I, i'm also not sure because when we, when i go through these right when in future i might know like anything is missing or something which has in 3.4 and then i'm not seeing there so you have the older version and then you have all the backup files configuration files you can just look into it and then just import and see all those stuff so this is what i believe for, but if you don't have any space right but i believe like you copy the configuration or any saved projects to different google drive or dropbox or then you do an update but i i believe like you just keep the older version for some time and the last thing is right try to take a regular backup so that it is essential and then you can uh, off projects and settings especially before doing major updates or upgrades related to stuff i believe i've covered majority of the stuff but it might be i'm not sure maybe if anything still needs to be covered but i believe like there might be some but i believe like majority of these things right these are the main things this is how you can upgrade blender 
from any version uh, by taking a backups of your projects configurations add-ons and then so that will not lose anything that's all i want to cover in this video thank you all for watching bye bye